Hey everybody, Techie101 here. Welcome back on my Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald All Shiny Edition. Alright, so last episode we took down our first gen leader. We took down Roxanne, Roxy, who used a rock Pokemon. Yeah, big shocker there, right? Uh, anyway, after we defeated her, actually, we came out here and we discovered that somebody was running away in agony because Team Aqua had stolen a package from the Devon building uh, situated here. Actually, though, let's go in here first and see what the ruckus is. You know, all the cops are everywhere. Okay, no, they're not. I guess they're too proud of their... Uh, material that's been stolen. It's beyond stupid. How can we get robbed? Yeah, I mean, we have one door guy. I mean, that's e easily ironclad. Um, the stolen parcel. Well, sure, it's important, but it's not anything that any anyone can use. In my estimation, the robber must not have been very bright. Yeah, if it's the same guy we saw in Petalburg Woods, he's a few curly short of a Three Stooges. Okay, so, um, yeah, even though he went this way for some reason, uh, he's actually over here now. Uh, there he is. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get back to the get. I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. You know, once again, I would just love to just say, screw you. I'm going on my adventure. Do 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 do. Going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. Going on an adventure. I'm not doing the Team Aqua shit. I'm not doing the. You know, I got a super potion. Yay. Um, actually, someone actually left me a comment and is like, you know, that would be really cool if we could just skip over the Team Aqua stuff, you know, right up until, uh, you know, they cause the end of the world. Which, you know, to be fair, letting the entire, you know, uh, th like the fate of the world resting on the hands of like a 10-year-old kid, yeah, that's, that's really, um... That plan was really destined to work from the beginning. Anyway, uh, okay, so this is really going to be more than a grinding video than anything else. Uh, I really need to get Dorbina up to level, at least up to level 11, at least to equal footing with Nuggets, and then we can kind of train them on and off. Um, so the guy that stole the Devon Goods is actually in Rust Turf Tunnel, which is on the other side of this onslaught of trainers, which I have to fight the trainers. I know it's the part of every Pokemon game that we hate. We always try to find some way around them. It's like, oh, man, this guy's... Okay, he looks left and he looks right. If I can just hurry up and get right past him... Oh, son of a bitch. Um... But we really, really need to fight the trainers, because that's what they're here for. Um, mostly because whenever I played this when I was a kid, I would always skip over the trainers as much as possible, usually just relying on one of my Pokemon to get me through the, you know, or like one or two of my Pokemon to get me through the game. But I really want to have a well-rounded team in this LP, just to show this full experience, because that's what a Pokemon game is. It's supposed to be about teamwork and strategy and, you know, being able to level up your Pokemon at an equal rate. So, uh, yeah, most definitely. I'm, I'm quite quite excited for this. And, look, see, we did, we did good at it. We, good damage with cut. I mean, the uh, the only thing to add about um, Derpina is the Truant ability. Prime example there. Oh, low kick. That's gonna suck. Oh, so, right. He's a fighting type. Crap. Uh, if you use focus energy, son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, that worked about as well as I thought it would be. And when, I really wanted to get him up to a level 10. Um, Alright, fine. Charon kick his ass. I mean, Nuggets kick his ass. Uh, I tell you guys. Frickin' Derpina. Uh, let me tell you, like, like, you, like, nobody's really been mentioning it so far, but I have been getting frustrated with Derpina, and that's the main reason slack offs are so annoying to 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 to, uh, to level up and to mat and to raise is just for that freaking truant ability, because that screws everything up. Um, but let me tell you guys, it'll be it'll be worth it. Okay, couple levels, we'll be having a vigor off. Vigor off will be kicking ass. Then later on, we'll get a slacking. Slacking will be kicking ass. We'll all be good. We'll be good to go then. Also, someone told me, uh, very helpful information actually, that uh, the next Pokemon gym we're going to be fighting in uh, Town is actually going to be using a uh, fighting type Pokemon. And I discovered that we pretty much would get owned pretty quickly with fighting type Pokemon. So, uh, you know, we actually have to level up uh, our uh, nuggets until level 16 to get a uh, peck because uh, fly fighting types are weak against flying. So if we can get just one. Like, like with Charon, for example, and Charon, like, all we had is one grass-type move, and we just freaking bulldozed that gym. So if we can just get one flying-type move on, a, on Nugget's part, then we're good to go. Even though he is a, you know, he's a chick, I would assume that... Oh, maybe I should catch a Talo. Kidding! Not catching a freaking Talo. Talo. Freaking useless. Useless bird Pokemon. Oh, can't escape. Come on. Come on, Darpina! I know, I know you're lazy, but come on. Oh! Sigh. Okay, screw it. You know what? You actually need the experience. Okay, fight. Fight! Win! Beat the beat the Talo! You can beat a Talo, Darpina. Come on! Come on! You can at least do that much. Okay, okay. See? 
See, we're good. We're good. We can do this. We can do this, Derpina. We, okay, we can still do this, Derpina. Alright, see, there you go. That should bring you over the line there. There we go. Level 10, Derpina. Alright, we got you that far. Okay. Get you one more level. There's a couple more trainers down here we can fight. We can fight this. We can fight a bug catcher. Okay, you can take on a bug catcher. Now, that's in the league. Definitely in your league there. Uh, there I think this guy has what? I think he has like two Ninkatas or something. Uh, bug catcher Jose would like to battle. Uh, oh, he has. Um, no, that's the other guy I'm thinking of. Derpina. Kicking ass. Bug catcher Jose. Not gonna know what hit him. Cut that Wurmple down. Cut him down. Poison sting. Watch, it's gonna poison me. Watch. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you're worried, if you're thinking about the um, like the the uh, the the um, um, uh, the rate of these uh, LPs I've been getting out as of or, uh, late because I have been I've been trying I've been making about maybe oh there's an the Nankata. I've been making about maybe two videos like every couple of days I'm getting out like I'm getting out a lot of Pokemon LPs and if you're curious about that it's just because you know I you know it, it's really not fair because when I got out of school I was just like yes I have all the time in the world now I can make all these videos I'm gonna get so much shit done and like immediately after like, like well, I work in a retail store so I mean if you work in retail the Christmas season is just gonna be hell on you so you know, I really haven't had a lot of time to myself. Whatever time I do have, I get home, I'm exhausted. Like, as of today, I had to be in work at 5 a.m. today. And, you know, I'm really glad I'm doing the LP because these are the videos where I don't have to worry about, you know, how I look. I don't have to dress up in the suit. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just have to play a game for 15 minutes and take, like, half an hour worth of editing. And that's about it. So... Honestly, these are the videos that I can get out the quickest and at least some content from me. I, I, I like I, I want to get out at least some content for you guys. I really don't want to feel like you're getting lazy, um, that I'm getting lazy. But, you know, after the Christmas season, I should have more time on my hands. I know I said that last time, but trust me. So, I uh, expect these Pokemon LPs in the next couple of days. Um, I'm actually getting pretty close to my 300th video. Actually, I think it's my next one is my 300th. Yeah, this is number 299. Yeah, this is, this is my 299th video. And I don't know that off the top of my head. I was just I've been checking on that the past couple of days because um I was thinking about doing a big answer time Christmas special for uh for my 300th video, which I'm probably gonna do now. So yeah. Um oh wow, holy crap, Derpina, critical hit. Wow, okay, you you must be getting you 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 you're, you're getting motivated. You're getting motivated, Derpina. We can do this. Kick Karen's ass. That's especially funny because Karen is my mother's name. All right, we're almost there at the end here. Um, actually, there's an interesting thing. If we time this right, we can actually fight these guys in a uh, in a tag battle. Um, but I think the hiker uses rock Pokemon, so we're actually going to switch out with. Uh... Oh come on, Derpina! It's a freaking Talo! It's a freaking Talo! Oh, there we go. I should have fought the Talo. I probably would have won. All right, so in that case, because there's going to be a, if we can time this right and get a double battle. I'm going to use Potion on Derps, Derpster. Switch out uh, Derpy, switch out Nuggets for a little Charon. Get him up there for the Geodude battle. And we can use Derpina to fight against the uh, the youngster. Okay, i got to time this just right. Ah, damn it, didn't work. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll use Derpina for the youngster, and then we'll switch out for Charon. Um, yeah, thanks to Alex. A lot of people sent me in good, uh, good nicknames for Charon coming up. I'm not going to reveal them now, of course. But, uh, you know, later on, when we get to Slateport, uh, pretty good ones, and, you know, thank you, I mean, thanks for the input. I really want this to be an interactive experience between me and my viewers. Like, kind of the same thing I, I do answer time is because I want to hear what you guys think. I want to have some kind of interaction going on. I don't want to just be, you know, me making content and, you know, just you posting comments and, like, occasionally I'll respond to a comment, but I just get so many. I, I like some kind of interaction going on, so that's why I chose this LP, because a lot of people have played Pokemon games. Pretty much everyone I know, even people that are not even into video games that much, have at least played a Pokemon game when they were kids. And, you know, you, you it's a game where, you know, there's a lot of hidden stuff all over the map. There's a lot of stuff that you can, you know, you can miss easy. There's a lot of stuff you can do. And that's why I have you guys, is, you know, like, oh, man, Tekken, you need to definitely go and do this and get this item because then you'll be able to do this with this character and you know just you know just, that, that's the reason I picked the Pokemon game to LP and Emerald just because uh, more so because I never played Emerald as a kid I played Sapphire but there are uh, I mean it, well it's been so long since I played Sapphire but there's a few minor differences throughout the game and you guys can probably you know you'll know, bring that up 
So Shroomish fainted. Oh, that sucks. That poor Shroomish. Never stood a chance. Oh, we got Derpeed up to level 11. Oh, kick ass. All right, all right. I think everybody's about to even... Oh, he's bringing out the Lotad. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see how this is going to work. Lotad versus Charon. <laughs> going to kick its ass. That's his new back sprite. I like it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. More accents the leaf on his head. There's not much really of a difference in terms of shiny between um, between Lotad and uh, Lombre, but I like his shiny. He's a little bit more, you know, brightly colored. I'll uh, say, so, so I actually found out what Nature Power actually does. I thought it just did a random normal type move like uh, like I used a Swift last time. Uh, apparently it changes depending on where you are. Like if you're indoors, like I was against Roxanne, you'll use Swift. If you're outdoors, you'll, I mean, if you're on like, um, I think it's like if you're surfing, you'll use Water Pulse. If you're outside, you'll use something else. If you're on a beach, you'll use Earthquake. If you're in a cave, you'll use Rock Smash. Like, depending on where you are and what your environment is, you'll use a different power. Actually, we are outside, so let's see what we would be using here. Stun Spore, which I don't think... Uh, there it goes. There it goes. So, you know, whatever. Stun Spore. We got stunned. Uh, highly doubt that's going to be that effective, but... Um, yeah. Also, something else I found out, though, uh, paralyzed Pokemon always lose in terms of speed. Like, always. Like, I, I mean, it makes sense, you know, if you're paralyzed, you won't be able to move as fast, but it's just, it's just these little tidbits I'd never really looked into when I was playing the game as a kid, and later on when I'm looking up, because I use Bulbapedia a lot for my videos, just to, I, I want to make sure I don't, for, I don't forget anything major. And I just want to make sure I know where I'm going. So I use Bulbapedia for a lot of things, especially with the uh, the Pokemon Learn set, like uh, which moves they learn, like for Slack Off, for instance. If you know, I just if I keep from evolving Slack Off for just one level, he'll learn a Dark type move, which would be immensely useful later on. Because most people just immediately let their Pokemon evolve whenever they get to the set level. I mean, I know I always did as a kid, and that's not always the greatest thing to do because they they keep learning the like Learn set abilities even after. You know, they're supposed to evolve so yeah it's always interesting to um, look into that kind of stuff and figure out the best strategy and that's one of the great things about Pokemon in in general all right tech got 128 bows for winning okay is uh okay I want to hurry up and click on that before he saw me all right paralyzed seal oh yeah we we found this like way back in Petalburg woods it actually came in handy finally okay Derpine is cured of paralysis we're gonna be throwing on a uh actually I'll use a berry because uh, not to waste another potion one more ore and berry. Why do I keep hitting check tag? I don't want to check the freaking tag. It's a berry. It is, it's a magical berry that heals you. There you go. That should be good enough. All right, let's uh, and let's switch out for uh, Charon so I can take out uh, this uh, dude's Geo dudes pretty quickly. I know I want to get the experience for Derpina and uh, and Nuggets, but really we need to. In this situation, Charon is the best against uh, Rock type Pokemon. Hyder Clark. Clark, I just watched uh, Christmas Vacation last night, so that actually fits really well. Oh wow, a level 8 Geodude. You are such a badass. Watch this. Pwned. Freaking pwned. And you gave me back my health. So thanks, Geodude. Thank you. That's not even going to level me up, probably. Okay, it leveled me up. I'm level 15 now. Awesome, awesome sauce. All around awesome sauce level 8 Geodude. Come on! I took out the freaking... I mean, obviously I must have defeated... Well, not obviously, but I probably defeated the gym leader of Rustboro if I'm coming this way. So, you know, obviously... <laughs> Come on, guys. Come at me with your A game. I know I switched out for Nuggets. I need to get I need to get Nuggets. He didn't, I haven't had any appearance for Nuggets in this entire LP. In this entire episode. So... I'll throw out Nuggets and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll use Rock Tomb. Is Rock Tomb effective against Rock types? Probably not. More effective than Ember would probably be. Okay, and we need to get... We have to actually... That's the main... Oh, Nuggets is almost there, too, so... You get him up to level 16, we'll learn pack, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't have much of an effect there. Lowered his speed, though. Mud Sport. That would really be great if Torchic was an electrical bird. Which he is not. Ah, uh, focus energy now. Fire's probably not gonna do shit. Oh, wow, it did a little more dying damage than I thought it would. Okay, oh, and he burned him! Oh, dude, Torchic, Nuggets, you're kicking ass! Wow, I didn't even call that. Okay, cool, cool. Jeez. Torch Nuggets is just like, you, you think I can't do anything against a Geodude? You think I'm useless against a freaking Geodude just because it's made of rock and I'm fire? Yeah, screw that. I'm freaking Nuggets. Freaking most badass Torchic in the world. I'll kick this thing's ass up and down the freaking route. Route, whichever. 
And it clearly is like, okay, calm down, Nuggets, calm down. You, you got it, you got the Geo, dude. You killed it. You're awesome. You just grew, just gained uh, 147 experience points. Yeah, <laughs> you go up to level, go to level 12 there, man. Kick ass. All right, so uh, yeah, we just made it through. Oh, there's another Geo, dude. Another Geo, dude. Bring it on, bring it on. I got my Nuggets, dude. Let's see. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lead with Ember. Come on, burn, 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 burn. Oh, crit! Oh, Nuggets, you're kicking ass. My God, I should have used you earlier in the episode. Damn it. <laughs> and he, he insists that electricity is going to play a factor into this battle. <laughs> oh, man. Check that out, guys. Check that out. A freaking fire-type Pokemon freaking pwned two Geodudes. They didn't even get hurt. To be credit, the Geodudes were most likely mentally challenged, but still, I mean, damn it kicked ass with that. $320? Give me your money. Damn straight. I should try different Pokemon types. That's what I ought to do. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, using, I'm going to use a rock type against a fire type. That's bound to work. Yeah. Not against Nuggets, man. Not against Nuggets. All right. So that's the end of the LP. That's the end of the episode. Um, next time, we're going to be heading over into Rust Turf Tunnel right there to my right. And uh, we'll be taking out um, the uh, Team Aqua member for the second time. Get back to Devon Goods. And uh, we're not actually done with this route yet because clearly we see we have a whole maze and a mess over here we got to deal with. So everyone, thanks for watching my LP. Checking 101 signing out. See you guys.